again important topic which is credit rating what is credit rating who can assign the credit rating or allocate the rating to the different financial instruments how it's work right then uh, what is the importance of this rating in the that investment market see guys i'll i'll simplify this if you want an if you if you want a loan then what you do you apply to the bank right you approach to the bank to offer the loan right when you apply to the bank for a loan then bank what they do what they do so what the process they have their credit manager bank's credit manager they actually review the factors factor it means income right then expenses your expenses then other investment if you have then your uh let's say let's say your other obligations in terms of loans or credit cards if you if you're using right so credit manager review all this and then after credit manager can pull your civil report civil report see if your civil report is 750 so it means it's a positive sign that you have a healthy a uh, healthy civil report so bank can offer loan to you right let's say your credit report is more than 850 or maybe 950 then you have a sound civil history so it means let's say you have used credit card or loan and you have repaid it on time without any delay in emis and all and let's say you opted credit card in history and you did not pay the payment on time to the credit card companies you opted uh, loans or home loans and you uh, did not pay the payment means emi is on time and due to that let's say your credit card or credit worthiness has been impacted due to this transaction and let's say your credit report is around 650 or maybe less than that or 550 in that case bank will not be able to offer the loan to you why because if the bank offer the loan to you then you won't be able to pay the loans to the bank the reason is maybe you have a current obligation let's say you have a current home loan personal loan or maybe credit card loan right maybe credit card loan you have and you are yet to repay that or maybe while repaying you are missing the deadlines or a uh, payment which is uh, the early when the, you know early emis and all whatever that the uh, schedule would be you are not able to pay that obligations or payment on time and that's the reason and still still if you see if you still want the loan and if you approach to the institutions they can charge here the highest interest rate to you why highest interest rate to you because just because of risk if they pay loan to you you may be or you you can default that uh, you you can announce the default or uh, maybe you can uh, declare as you you have been uh, insolvent that also happened maybe in near term that's the reason while taking the loans or applying for the loans your credit card matter uh, sorry civil report or civil score is matter a lot the similar way similar way at the organizational level let's say if you want to invest in hdfc bond if you want to invest in government bond if you want to invest in uh, private companies bond or private institutions bonds so institutions like modis s&p globals fetch and there are uh, other institutions as well in india we have a crisil they do the in detail analysis of a business xyz business for going to issue an xyz instrument let's say tcs want to issue the bonds right or maybe uh, the wipro want to issue the any tranche or notes then crisil or uh, maybe uh, that the fetch or s&p global mudis can do the in detail analysis of tcs so in detail analysis means what exactly so tcs will or uh, sorry uh, the moody's or the s&p global fitch rating agencies or crisil they will analysis 
the TCS or Wipro's asset. Then liabilities, their loans or current obligations, cash flows for operations, right? Management style, current employees, revenue, right? Business model, everything, everything. So it means they will review everything, right? And accordingly, they can allocate rating to the firm. Let's say how how they will design this rating. So triple eight means it's a sound. The organization is at a very sound position. Triple eight, triple eight. If you see, so organization has a sound position, and here they cannot pay the if the TCS issue the bonds, then TCS cannot pay high interest payment because TCS has a sound balance. It if the instrument is less risky, then you cannot expect high return. If the instrument is high risky, then investors may ask for a higher interest payment also. That is depends on the investor. That is depends on the company. Here low risk, low return, high risk, high return. and this phase is for default here you cannot expect any payment from the issuer because this one is a risky zone if you see the c rating if you see the d rating if you see the d rating so it means it's a default rating so that particular company announced that they have default on payment so they don't have a cash to pay your liability so accordingly this rating a uh, rating announcement or this rating re-rating or valuation is the very important task such institutions they share the report with you or maybe they provide the access of the portal the processor can access the portal and download the reporting uh, you know uh, from their portal and update into the system if the rating changes we actually change it and notify the fund managers because accordingly fund managers can take further decisions on that and that's the reason this credit rating plays a vital role in investing business so rating it means actually actually define that whether you should invest in that particular uh, particular security or not right and most of the most of the instrument which you would see those are like b rated b plus or b rated here you would see the moderate type of risk and hardly people or investors they invest in this zone because this is like a default zone but see guys if you see the default here also few institutions they invest if you take the example of sri lanka sri lanka now they have defaulted on payment russia they have defaulted on payment pakistan they have defaulted on payment then um, the uh, another there are a number of countries almost 42 countries in the world they are going maybe in upcoming time you would see they can announce default on payment and after that if they want any any kind of payment or assistance from the different fund managers and all so government can issue the securities or the bonds on a discount because those are risky bonds but they can announce that bonds on a very high discount and such an asset even though we can call distress assets distress assets so it means risky assets which we can call distress assets right and here you would say par so it means par it means par assets and distress assets two categories sometime you would expect question on this part as well par it means healthy assets distress it means risky assets so assets which is in already tension which you can say okay so theoretical aspect if you want say this the rating issued by credit rating agencies the rating matters a lot that affect on the investment decisions as well and apart from that the very important is when the rating changes the price of the security also changes let's say at here the price of the security is hundred dollar if the rating goes down if the rating goes down this amount will be changed automatically why this amount will change something happened with the particular that company that's what maybe revenue they could not meet the target 
let's say the profit they could not generate the profit it can be happened anything so if that event happened then there will be change in the valuation and the similar way ultimately there will have uh, have an impact on the investment which you have made that is the reason this rating process help a lot to the fund businesses or investors or even the retail investors as well because before investing you should check this this is a very important term okay so triple a is the highest rating bond with a rating of bb minus or higher are considered investment grade so this this area is for investment if you want you can invest in this area is triple rated bonds aa bonds a2 bonds or maybe bb1 bonds right or ba bonds that is depends on you right till here you would see this is the investing zone this one is investing zone till here you can invest in any bonds or securities bond with rated b or bb plus or lower are considered non investment grade and are often called high yield bonds or junk bonds see this sometime you would expect question on what is junk bonds so junk bond it means risky bonds high yield bond it means risky bonds here the bond price should be bond price should be let's say 50 right and the face value of bond is let's say 100 and bond is offering 10% interest payment ultimately you would expect high or the bond yield will goes high but here you would see the bond yield will very less the reason is 100 rupees face value bond is trading at let's say 100 only the interest payment which is that even company is offering around 5% so it means interest rate which will also less and that's the reason your the bond yield will be low right that is depends on the investment goals if you're looking for high yield bonds then you can invest in risky zone or junk bonds if you're looking for a healthy uh, that investment if you don't want the risk and all then you can invest in triple e bonds right then bond in default are rated d s&p and fintech of uh, fitch sorry and are included in moody's lowest rating category is c if you are looking for any valuation interview then this term or this concept credit rating part will be important one before sit for interview you can go through this right you can check the in detail information about this or valuation process how the valuation process work how the committee provide approvals and all how they review it what the factor they consider you know before allocate the rating and all so every information that you can try to get it anyways i'll list one pdf there so you can access it and check the information about it okay before going to end the session i would request you please download the mobile application which is gmt academy right away to get to know more about the concepts as well as the terms which you are looking for right and yes do subscribe like and share this content with others let them also learn it that's it so we'll see you next session Thank you Jai Hind Jai Bharat yeah